about it? How about Schwab? You guys love him, don't you? Schlab. Schwab. Klaus. Klaus. Klaus Schwab. He's saving the world. I got to reset the world. All right, let's listen in here. So, Klaus Schwab. Try to make this bigger for y'all. We all know, but still pay insufficient attention to the frightening scenario. Frightening scenario. Frightening scenario. Wow, I mean, is, is this guy a comic book character or what? <laughs> I don't know if you can see it here. I had it in the response here. Let me see. Where is my response? Uh, where do we go here? Likes. Oh, I guess it's down here somewhere. But I had a response here where he's dressed up in a cape. He's got like the... Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Check this out. <laughs> oh, man. You guys seen the movie Mandy? The guy had the same... The guy has a bathrobe like this. It's like a star. It's... <laughs> it's like your six-pointed star, basically. And it's all in black. Yeah, you can trust Klaus. Good old Klaus. Guy Klaus. Klaus Schwab. Uh, he's a good fella. He's a jolly good fella. He's a jolly good fella. <laughs> wow, eh? It's just crazy. Uh, okay, so back to the video there. Frightening. We, we all know, but still pay insufficient attention to the frightening scenario <laughs> of a comprehensive cyber attack oh! which would bring there we go. a complete halt to the power supply, transportation, oh, hospital services, our society as a whole. The COVID-19 crisis would be seen in this respect as a small disturbance in compact. It's a small disturbance in the force. <laughs> Oh, I know I'm laughing. It's pretty disturbing what he's saying, though. He's saying that a a massive cyber attack that takes out the power grid and I guess shuts everything down is is as frightening. <laughs> frightening. Yeah, it's frightening. Now, is that what's in the playbook? Is that what you guys got? Dark winter. Dark winter. Dark winter. It's frightening. <laughs> we all know. But still, pay insufficient attention yeah. to the frightening scenario <laughs> of a comprehensive cyber attack, yeah, yeah. which would bring to a complete halt yeah, there you go. to the power supply, the power, power supply, hospital services, frightening. our society as a whole. Yeah. The COVID-19 crisis would be seen in this respect. As a small disturbance, yeah, a small disturbance. in comparison yeah. to a major cyber attack. Uh, oh, wonderful. To use the COVID-19 crisis as a timely opportunity timely. to reflect on the lessons the cybersecurity community can I draw care so and much. improve our preparedness for a potential Un wonderful, wonderful, wonderful! The guy that brought you the Great Reset. Wonderful. So, yeah. Is that what they have in the cards? Their Dark Winter? Let's hope not. Let's hope not. Seriously. But, um, yeah. It's a frightening, frightening! Yeah, yeah we want to know what's frightening. I'll tell you what's frightening. Frightening. It's this guy. This guy is frightening. What does he do in his basement at night? What is this guy up to? What What the hell has he got on? Are you going to trust a man like this? <laughs> he's going to baptize her child. Yeah, that's frightening. And he's got the black sun symbol here too. I mean, Wow. That's just something. Wow, that's just incredible. That's frightening. All right, let's move on. Uh, Donald Trump Jr. <laughs> what a what a show. It's all right, guys. Trust the plan. It's all right. Yeah, trust the plan. Donald Trump Jr. Uh, Donald Trump Jr. and his girlfriend, Kimberly Guilfoyle. Yeah, I wonder. I wonder. D 
damn, man. Wow. This is it. Uh, it's, uh, it's something, eh? He's completely asymptomatic. Ah, it's funny. It's just like everybody else that tests positive. I wonder how that works. Wow, it's the biggest trick ever. It's like he's completely asymptomatic, and yet he's got the virus. Wow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I guess we have to go over to Joe Rogan to get the whole lowdown on it. Anyways, let's move on from that. Where are we here? Oh, yeah. Is this David Muir's hair apparent here? ABC World News. Trust it with David Muir. But it's not David Muir. It's some other turd. Uh, we've seen this guy before. Good evening. Thanks for joining us on a busy Friday night. I'm Tom Yamas, in for David. We begin tonight with in the for grim David. surge. And grim surge. Of the coronavirus yes. across the U.S., the U.S. reporting 186,000... You know what, though? Just thinking about that. If David Muir is off tonight, that means something's going down. Because they're going to get David Muir on it. Like, that's how it works, eh? <laughs> Wherever something big goes down, David Muir shows up. He's there. He's, like, there the night before. He's like, all right, I'm in place. I'm all ready to go on, on camera. Sort of thing. So, I don't, I don't know. It could be a harbinger. This is in just 24 hours. At the same time, Pfizer takes a major Pfizer. step closer to providing yeah. a vaccine for millions Wonderful. of people. Wonderful. Yeah! Yeah! Pfizer! Yeah! Look at that. Look at that. It's, it's, uh, it's fake media po being the cheerleader of, of Big Harma. Yeah! What a, what a partnership. That's awesome. It's, like, it, it, it's almost like government, Big Harma, and the media are all working on the same team. Gee! Isn't that amazing? Ah, uh, yeah, but times of crisis. A frightening crisis. We all got to come together, eh? Yeah. Remember 9-11? Yeah. We all got to be on the same team. It's all right. We can all wear purple at night, or we can dress frighteningly like Mr. Uh, <laughs> Schwab. The U.S. Yeah. with now more than 253,000 lives lost. Nearly 2,000 deaths in just one day. Yeah, awesome. Hospitalizations on the rise in every state. A record high of nearly 80,000 patients. Pfizer formally requesting emergency use authorization awesome. for vaccine. An FDA panel set to meet next month. Millions of doses could be available within 24 hours of FDA approval. Oh, isn't that awesome? Mont Satan. Yeah, you can trust Mont Satan. Yeah, I love that. I like that. I, I think, you know what? At this point in time, why don't we just change the FDA and just call it what it is? Mont Satan? <laughs> That would be great, eh? He says, ah, it's just, Mont Satan approved it. Oh, wonderful. Does it have, I'm not, you, uh, Billy, I'm not going to take it unless it has glyphosate in it. You know, no, it's got Mont Satan approved. Don't worry about it. Yeah, yeah, that's it. And Pfizer and Mont Satan teamed up with Bill Gates. Wow, what could go wrong? Nah, 